I think that George Garrett said once we were a race of talkers. When it comes to storytelling, the South is the source of stories for me. We're very good. Let's just be really clear. We do, in fact, have a tradition of great literature. We write the way we talk. And if we don't, we, we fail. <laughs> you know, the only place, the only region of the country that's ever really known defeat and occupation and all the rest of that. My dad was a great storyteller. I was um, a shy kid who read a lot and wanted to be alone. I just sort of decided that's what I wanted to be. I also wanted to be a Major League Baseball pitcher. But it didn't take me too long to realize that I had a little more chance as a writer. I had no other talents. I didn't think you could be a writer. I didn't think people like me could be a writer. Um, I don't think I actually began to think that I could write uh, until I was in my 20s. I had never read any poetry until, really, I was about 20 years old. And the kind of environment that I began as a writer, it was that. It was, every word was blood and fire. That's special. Well, uh, no doubt about that. I think this was by far the premier Southern Literature Writers Conference in the United States. I love Chattanooga. I mean, it's a great town. There's a spirit here that, that I, I am happy to find again every time I come back. I felt very honored to come to Chattanooga and see all of those augusts presences up there on the stage. It's probably as much fun as I've had at a literary conference. I remember listening, just sitting there the entire day. I do remember coming in to the big auditorium, standing in the back, not knowing who was reading, and it was someone I had never heard of, and I was just blown away. I dream in those voices, and to be immersed in those voices, people reading beautiful stories and great poetry in a southern language. <laughs> oh, just let me stay here for the next three days. <laughs>